Before we do a countdown and press play, Tony, yep. I'd be remiss if I didn't at least offer you uh, an opportunity to respond. Because as you've probably seen, you went kind of viral last Wednesday. Right. And now we've had like a week of Tony Schiavone memes and lots of speculation and people jumping to conclusions and people are really re reaching based on what they think they saw. And, uh, I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth, so I'll just lay out and let you have a chance to respond if you'd like to. Uh, I think it's hilarious. Not hilarious. I think it's, uh, probably apropos that people can take screenshots and assume anything from a screenshot. Um, my facial reaction to what happened was me, my facial reaction, trying to, um, put more heat on the bucks for being assholes within the storyline itself. Right. I did not have any reaction to the footage we'd see. We saw because I don't give a damn. They Andy, can put, it's not like it was new for you. No, that's right. I, so what? So yeah. fucking what? So I was not upset at the promotion. I was not upset at Tony Khan. I was not pissed off about what we had shown. I was, I was trying to be fully in the moment of the angle which is the bucks bitching about FTR, not you know, wanting to shake their hands and getting fucked around and everything. Right. That's what I was doing. But of course, everybody wants to create their own story and that's fine. That's what social media is about. Social media is about idiots coming together and trying to come up with their own ideas. So, uh, yeah, maybe I was still upset about bug. I don't know, but I didn't give a shit about the, the, the footage and still don't. Show it all you want. Okay. Don't I, give a shit. I'm I'm sincere when I say I don't care. I don't care. It has no impact on my life. Okay. Some people are saying, oh, the footage that you were showing is like the uh is like the finger poke poke of doom moment for for uh for AW. Well, you know what? That's what you want it to be because you wanted to you want to see us fail. And there's no way because I was in both companies. There's absolutely no way that you can compare us to WCW. You can't. You may want to. You may think you're right. You're wrong. You cannot compare us to WCW. I was there at both. You were not. So there's that. Well said, Tony. I, okay. um, you and I have not talked about it, but I knew that was your reaction because mm -hmm. when I would tell you anything about the Georgia Bulldogs or mm -hmm. Alabama or the mm -hmm. Atlanta Falcons or whatever, you would always hit me with a, I don't give a shit. Yep. So it's like, I, 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 I don't care about this either. I'm really, uh, happy about, uh, my attitude in life right now. I really am. I care about AEW and I care about my family. I care about my dogs, even though my dogs look like, if you're watching right now, they're wiped out again on the floor. Um, and I, I care about my family. I care about AEW. I care about my dogs. I care about Tony Khan because he's a good person. I care about the people I work with. And you know what? That's fucking it. Okay. That's fucking it. I don't care about anything else. And I don't care. First of all, I don't care about your opinion. And uh, I don't. And uh, so you can mean me all you want. The good news is. Unless somebody sends it to me, which a couple people did, I won't see it. So you know what? Fuck you. I won't see it anyway. All right. Well, uh, after we told our audience, fuck you, let's fuck go ahead you. and encourage yeah. them to uh, pull it up right now. Let's get on it. I'm fired up. This is going to be fun. You've never seen it. It's uh, season eight, episode 16. It went down April 17th, 2000. As folks are listening to this 24 years ago, Tony, you ready for the countdown? Yeah. We, uh, asked for some, uh, countdowns. If you'll recall last week. Yes, sir. And we did get a few. All right. So I'm going to send them in order. This one comes from Rocco D, uh, and, uh, one of our listeners and Rocco sent us what I thought was a very, very good countdown. You ready for it? Yes, I sir. Think, I think, I think everybody's going to enjoy it. Heavyweight champion of the world, Hulk Hogan. I cannot believe that the pressure is not starting to get to you. Well, you know something, Mean Gene? The pressure has been getting to me, brother. As I've been hanging and banging in the gym, I've been seeing people beg the Hulkster, brother. Please come and help Tony Schiavone. Come out and help Conrad Thompson, man. They just need a countdown, dude. They're totally out, man. The well has run dry. But you know something, brother? I've been looking at Tony Schiavone, and I've been seeing he's been hanging and banging, man. He's been dropping the pounds. 
and he is just inches away from its goal, man. He's just a few pounds away. And I know something that can help him out, man. Because I've been talking to the big man upstairs. I've been saying my prayers. I've been taking my vitamins. And I've been saying to all my little Hulkamaniacs, man, get behind Tony Schiavone, brother. But you know something? I think I know just the cure to get him over that hump, man, to help him reach his weight loss goals, brother. And that is giving him. A little bit of a countdown, dude. So me and all my little Hulkamaniacs have only one thing to say to you. Three, two, one. Press play. <laughs> How about that? That was tremendous, yeah. wasn't it? Man, he got into that. That was awesome. Yeah, it sounded great, man. That was a, that was a great Hulk impersonation, too. So we're opening up with the old signature of the show here. This is before we were WWE. We're still the Scratch logo, WWF. And... Man, I just love this old badass theme here. Isn't it wild to see the Hardy Boys just flying around the ring here in 2024 and wow. Jeff's still active in AEW today? It's crazy. Yeah, it is. Uh, just, uh, what do you think I of was... a like that when it, when it flies in like a bomb like that? Yeah. It scares the shit out of me. Looks awesome to me. It does. Pyro is still a big part of wrestling today. As we know, look at the freaking signs. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. And one of those guys had a pretty, uh, well done raw is war sign. So here we are Penn state university. Oh, you know, we're on the heels of uh, WrestleMania 2000, which was, uh, not the best WrestleMania. It was a McMahon in every corner. So it's not like creatively we're clicking on all cylinders here. It's kind of a tough period. I'll be honest. I know that a lot of wrestling fans look back at 99 and 2000 and 2001. And I mean, I've had a lot of my friends who say out loud to me, oh man, 2000, 2001, those are the best two years of wrestling. And I'm like, really? I just, they, they did not connect with me like that. Like yeah. 97 did 98 did, but by 99, it started to feel a little different than in 2000. I just wasn't digging it as much. And, uh, I think creatively it was just, uh, less than, and some of that's because stone colds out, you know, right. And WCW just kind of sucked. Oh, look at the backstage area here. Little family reunion, Shane snapping on the big, uh, the big Eagle around triple H's waist. Stephanie is there holding her women's title over her wrist. So this is the, uh, the reign of terror era of uh, triple H, I suppose. What a crazy family that's wound up being, huh? Wow. 